Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Got a lot here for a shave video. I know it's been a while, it's been like two or three weeks. Life got hectic. I'm sorry, family has to come first, right? We'll talk about that more as we go. So hope you're doing well. Hope you've been having some nice weather and enjoying summer. Um, one of my last posts on Instagram was my opportunity to meet uh, McDuff's grooming at a market in Edmonton and pick this up firsthand. This is Coast to Coast, uh, one of their latest and probably last ones I understand for a little while, um, like limited edition releases or special releases. It is uh, ginger ale, maple, and rye whiskey. Yes, is all I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, I also have something here I've been looking for a long time. I don't think I ever posted it. Here we go. This is a Mohawk brush, the 5341. Canadian handle. This is what the PAA Starcraft handle is based on. Uh, it says a, I believe it's 22, it could be 20 millimeter uh, silver tip. I got this from Neil at Heritage Shaving or Heritage Collection when he uh, was clearing out some of his personal collection. Gave me a very fair deal. I've always wanted one of these. So thank you very much, Neil. And that being said, we're gonna do something that's a little weird today. As you can tell, it's kind of preloaded. I want to try a face lather. I haven't done a face lather in a long time. I don't know if I'm doing, trying to get you know, the small patches over smart lady to do, but we'll give it a shot. I got about two and a half days growth, guys. I uh, shaved Friday morning, July 9th. And then I went up to the cabin for the weekend, and I just got home about an hour ago, and it's the 11th, about 8 p.m. right now. So this is very, very soft knot, very floppy. <laughs> Only my second time using this. I think we'll get a good lot of here with it though. Some water in there, whoops. Mmm, it smells amazing guys. So, you get all the three scent notes that I'm talking about. Ginger, Canadian whiskey, and maple. Or rye and maple, whatever you want to call it. It's amazing. Uh, it's like a rye and ginger kind of deal with a touch of uh, maple, maple syrup in it. Really sweetness from the maple syrup is here. But you do get the ginger ale quite pronounced. Or the ginger. Now, originally, I did enough the sample I had. To be honest, but once I got the full puck, I uh, definitely get. I get it even clearer in the splash, and the whiskey's there too. So that's a great scent. I really enjoy this. My wife even likes it. And if she didn't like this one, it didn't matter. It wasn't even my game. <laughs> I've let quite a few things go from the den because my wife just absolutely hated them or they have reactions to the scents, stuff like that. But this one, thankfully, I just love. So does she. She tells me it smells really nice. And I've been trying to get this on video for you guys. Just life's been stupid, like I said. So yeah, we had a, uh, oh, was busy at work, was really tired, a little stressed. I hope it's stress and it can come to physical symptoms too, and for me it's usually tiredness. Um, my second, I think I talked about my second vaccine with you guys before, it really hit me hard. I, I mean, harder than the first one, but there's still, about a day and a half for me to deal with it. We walked the point more recently. Uh, we have to go the province over from me for some medical appointments for my wife and my daughter that I've been waiting almost three years for. Uh, so while we were doing that, I decided to make a trip and see my 
newly born niece, or sorry, nephew, who I haven't seen yet, which is awesome. He's a really cool little kid. Uh, he's only, you know, maybe two months now, but still. Cool kid. He could be a really cool kid. He's also the first boy on either side of the family. <laughs> he's gonna get spoiled. Um, I don't know, my sister-in-law and her husband and my nephew and my daughter and that was nice. Then we went down to a different city <clears throat> for the appointments. Uh, for the one day for the appointment and then a day for the testing. And we took my daughter up to the mountains. I just outside Calgary, that's where we were for that. And my daughter had been to the mountains before, but she's really too young, my middle daughter, to remember. So we took her out and thought we'd go for two hours. We were there for her like seven. Uh, it was pretty crazy, swam in a glacier lake, which was pretty fun. We had a good time. And the next day I got up and we drove, I was basically driving for 10 hours that day. Went, uh, drove home, grabbed her stuff, and went out to the family cabin, met the rest of the family. You know, that was Canada Day. I was out there for the long weekend. Oh yeah. This will be good. And uh, came home, and then the following week is a roller coaster. This past week is a roller coaster of emotions for me, guys. So uh, I start the week off on Monday with my wedding anniversary and my in law's wedding anniversary. And Tuesday. It would have been my dad's birthday. Oh, it's my dad's birthday, but he's no longer with us to celebrate. And it is my brother-in-law's wedding anniversary. Wednesday is nothing. It's just a stupid, stupid day at work. And Thursday was nothing. It's just, again, really busy. Lots of drama, lots of customer issues at work. I'm dealing with that kind of stuff. Uh... Friday was a five-year celebration of my dad's passing in his accident. That really hit me hard this year. Uh, probably the hardest it's hit me since the year happened. And then Friday night I went up to the cabin with the kids. My wife stayed home and uh, we hung up there with the in-laws and my sister-in-law for a while until, until I came home tonight. So, my emotions have been up and down. That's what it is. I really have been really tired because of it, so. So anyway, sorry I haven't been around for videos. I've had some cool shaves in between. I used my first Shavette shave. Um, buddy of mine, I'm going to be working on a straight razor here this week for him to send back. I sent me a Shavette to try too, which was really nice of him. I have a bunch of soap samples. I was going to use that today for you guys actually. Put my second video, uh, second shave with it on video. First shave wasn't the best. It was a close shave. more blood than I like. It did bloop. I didn't think it was going to. Uh, right into my arm. Let me clean that off, guys. And, but you know what? I just really want to use a straight razor today. So. There we go. Well, oh, it's the core up, by the way, if you guys don't remember. 8 it's got the double belly, convex grind, uh, horn scale, antler scales. It's kind of a tribute razor to my dad, is what the idea behind it was. He uh, never got this hobby of mine, but he supported me anyway, so. I'm 
Wow, there's a lot of hair in my sink right now. <laughs> the McDuff's V4, V4 base, guys, is just awesome. Um, I'm really, really liking it. Sean and his beautiful wife have done a wonderful job on it. Wow. Yep. <clears throat> the slickness on this stuff is great. The beef, um, you know, residual initial. I know some people don't care, but I can tell you that the uh, post shave is good. He's up the scent strength uh, with some of his recent releases by changing how he does the scenting on it, and it has worked. I have four or five of them now. I got another one incoming. And. Uh, The ones where he's made the change are definitely stronger scented than what he had before. They're probably right around a medium. Depending on which one it is. So excuse me. I've been drinking a bevy here before the drink before the shave too. Like it's sitting right there, I'll show you guys and then before the next pass. <laughs> Cross the ground, guys. So with me pulling this up like that, it brings up a topic for me. I was talking to one past Ben, or Benjamin, Ben, whatever you want to call him. And uh, he's obviously started his straight razor journey and he's having a hard time in here getting, uh, he's coming across his jawline, getting like reactions and pimples and roughness from it. Pull it up, guys. Pull it up, shave it, drop it down. Get it off the bone if it's, if it's difficult for you. So or if it causes you those problems. I have my hand in a bad spot. I need to have it more up here. I'm gonna just put a little slice right there, not the memory line, baby. We'll see. Mm, maybe we'll find out. <laughs> That's good. I just love this scent too. You know what a whiskey, whiskey and ginger is, or a rye and ginger is? You have a good idea what this is about. And then you add a little maple syrup into it too. And really good shit. So. Funny enough, speaking about being at the cabin this weekend, I cut my foot pretty good at the cabin. Um, been getting into paddle boarding, which really a lot of fun. But I get these natural like cracks in the ball of my feet. Uh, probably due to calluses. I should really get that probably like that. Too much info, I know. Um, but anyways, I really ripped it open at the cabin Friday night. Thought I got it healed up decently and I went paddle boarding on the new one I have. My first one. I've been boring people otherwise. Oh. oh, I hope you can hear me. I didn't realize I turned that audio off. Sorry, guys. Um, and anyways, <clears throat> I ripped it right open. It wasn't fun. Couldn't stand on it at all. Here's what I'm drinking, actually. Uh, Growers Cider Co. Canadian Cider Company. And it's clementine and pineapple. <clears throat> I love this stuff. And it's only 5%, but. It's really delicious. 
I'm holding it here, and this is my, um, what's it called again? Illumination, made here in Canada. Aircraft aluminum, CNC, basically steel, uh, cozy. What is it? It's cold forever. Um, you can also pour boot, uh, alcohol right in here if you want. I've done that before, too. Love this and I'm really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. I actually, truth be told, I was able to get my hands on this a few days before the release. Paid for it 100%. But I was in that uh, in the city of Edmonton, Alberta, and <clears throat> like I said, I was traveling for my daughter's thing. So we decided, thought on life appointments, but we decided to. Stop up there a few days earlier and see my sister-in-law, her husband, and her new nephew. And Sean was uh, gracious enough to arrange for me to pick it up for his wife a few days early at the market so I didn't have to pay the shipping. <clears throat> so I just didn't post anything on social, social media about it until I think the day before. I begged his permission because I was just dying to show you guys. <laughs> Against the grin. The edge of this blade is still pretty damn good. Uh, I was worried it was going out, but it's not. So a year in, or darn close to. And the edge retention on this blade is amazing. It's just, it's proven itself, everything I've heard about them, so. Definitely a fan of the Corats. Beautiful shade going on here. Probably just changed it, but anyways. Um, <clears throat> just want to say too, anyone who watches my channel is probably also watching uh, CDBs. If you're not, or if you are, you know about his mom's health issues she's having, you have to go and help her out and everything right now. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers, positive vibes, whatever you're, you're into, but make sure you pass that on to Chris. Um, he does a lot for the... Uh, a little bit of blood there. Like a bump I took off. A lot for the community. You know, just send him some vibes back for his mom's good being. You know, good well-being. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Alright guys, but uh, still nothing beats a straight. I love it. Sorry. Excuse me. Yep, <clears throat> it's all feeling pretty good. 
Let's just check this out. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'm gonna do my cleanups off camera, guys. I'm um, just to swipe along this chin one more time, clean that up, clean up my nose. I'll be back for the post shave. All right, I'm back. Really nice shape, guys. I'm very, very happy with that. No memory line, or I thought I got myself. A little bit of blood there, or you took off a pimple head or something, but it's pretty much cleared up, so we're golden. So we're gonna use the Match and Splash today. McDuff's Coast to Coast. This is, I don't ever checked you guys, but I think, yes, it is with Chazel Base. Yep. <laughs> I've been enjoying the entire McDuff uh, lineup of products I've been using so far. Soaps, splashes, um, V4 base especially. Like, can't go wrong. Easy to work with. Great performance. I'm just a huge fan now. So, one day I'm hoping I can meet Sean in person too. Right on. A drink for you guys. Man, that's good stuff. Really good stuff. All right. I'm going to move the water on that. Wipe it off again. There we go. So, magic cap for you guys. Today we used McDuff's. Grooming, Coast to Coast, McDuff Soap Company, whatever you want to call them. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Splash. Okay. The brush. What are my bucket list brush? Bucket list brushes. Mohawk uh, 5341. Honest to God, it seems to be harder to find uh, information on this, but ever since I saw one of these, I wanted it, so I was very, very happy to add it. Not a big fan of the knot in here. I don't know, maybe a little JR8. JR one day Reyes, there you go, my brain died to get it re-knotted. Who knows? Probably the person who knows the most about these handles, probably Doug Smythe at PAA. That I know of anyways. Um told you we did a face lather with that today. We loaded it. I loaded it in my thirsty badger. I call it my loading bowl now bowl now. Uh, when I want to try face lathers, I never I never load straight from the top. Sorry, not doing it. All the water I use for soap, making my lather, all that comes from my Stormtrooper mug. Excuse me. And of course, my Cora, it, it's full custom. Love this thing. Love, love, love it. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm not like this. sorry for the delaying videos. I'll try to pump out another one uh, here this week or this weekend. Uh, and I got some holidays coming up in a couple of weeks too, so I'll be away for that. Sorry, guys. But anyways, thank you for joining me. I hope you're having great shaves. Um, please leave your comments below. I like seeing what you guys thought of my videos. Just saying hi, whatever you like. Uh, if you are my uh, if you are a subscriber, <laughs> thank you very much. If you're not, if you want to subscribe below, please do, and uh, click that little bell also so you get notifications. Pass that, guys. Great shaves. Have a great week. Be kind to everyone. We're all just trying to get through life, man, as best we can. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Cheers.